guys and welcome back to my channel and another monthly favorites video. Now I know it's been quite a long time since I've done one of these. Um, I took a little hiatus over Christmas. Things really, really got busy. Um, I didn't have time to film any additional videos, what with Vlogmas and everything. And my monthly favorites kind of went out the window a little bit, but I really, really loved doing them. So here they are revamped and back. And I'm really excited to share with you some things that have been making me super happy through the month of March. So let's get started. Started. I'm going to start this month with a podcast and it is a non-knitting or sewing podcast this month. Um, it's something that I am incredibly late to the party to start listening to um, but I know that there are a lot of people out there who also enjoy this podcast and that is My Favourite Murder. Now it sounds a little morbid from the title, um, granted, but basically it's two lovely ladies, Georgia and Karen, who get together on a weekly basis and talk through um, murder different kinds of murders that they find fascinating or interesting, cold cases, solved things, be they old, be they recent, and for anyone who's into true crime it really is one of the best podcasts I have ever listened to. I love that they take a very um, light-hearted look at a very serious issue, they genuinely care about what they're talking about, and they just create a really incredible community. I am a fully-fledged murderino, I have now listened to their entire back catalogue of podcasts, I want to buy a um, My Favourite Murder t-shirt. I am a fully fledged member of the um, My Favourite Murder fan club and if you are into true crime and don't mind a little bit of profanity thrown in for good measure, also if you have strong ideas about being a liberal and being a feminist it's going to be right up your alley so I would very very much recommend My Favourite Murder. Because I haven't done them favourites for um, a few months, some of these favourites are actually things that I have enjoyed over the past couple of months. I had a really wide um, amount of things to draw on and this particular favourite is something that I actually listened to a few months ago. It's an, it is an audio book and it is the book The Princess Diarist by the incredible Carrie Fisher who sadly passed away a couple of months ago. When that happened I like a lot of people wanted something to offer a little bit of comfort and this audiobook was absolute perfection. It is read by Carrie herself and it is her telling of exactly what happened during the casting process of Star Wars and kind of how it has affected her life since then. It was utterly fascinating, it was very heart-wrenching at times, it made me feel like I had even more in common with Carrie Fisher than I had ever thought. The insecurities that she experienced when she was playing Princess Leia are like nothing that you could comprehend considering how that role is viewed as such a kind of sex symbol type role, but also how it affected her later in life when people kind of disliked the fact that she got older and didn't remain this kind of stick thin, um, 20 something year old girl for the rest of her life. If you enjoy Star Wars, um, it is a must read or listen to. I would really recommend the audiobook. This is the medium that I actually experienced the book just because it's read by Carrie herself and it gives you so much personality, much more so I think than just reading the book um, would give you. But I absolutely loved it. I listened to it in pretty much just two days, constantly listening to this audiobook. And um, yeah, it was a really, really lovely way to remember an incredible woman. My next favourite is actually knitting based, gotta throw some knitting in there somewhere, and it is a book that was bought for me. This was purchased for me by my lovely mum on a recent visit to Loop in London. I have been looking forward to getting my hands on this pattern collection for the longest time and I was not disappointed. And it is of course the Capsule Collection by Michelle Wong. I just love this book so much. I'm a huge fan of Michelle and everything that she does. I'm currently working on her wicker work pullover, which is just beautiful. But if you're a big fan of cables in general, this is gonna be the book for you. Michelle is, let's be honest, the queen of cables. The thing that I love about the capsule collection and the thing that Michelle has really been very vocal about in the promotion of this collection is that it is, knitwear to comfort to make you want to wrap yourself up in it and just feel warm and safe and that's very much where my knitting mojo is kind of sitting right now there are some stunning patterns in this and i genuinely want to knit 
through pretty much the entire book, but I would say that the piece de resistance, as far as I'm concerned, is the Aspen kind of robe cardigan for women. I absolutely adore this um, cardigan and I can see myself knitting one in the near future. I might adapt it so it's not as kind of over the top and long as it was envisioned by Michelle originally. I'm sorry, Michelle. Um, I can't quite afford that much Brooklyn tweed yarn, um, but it's just, a really really gorgeous collection to to have you know just for the sake of it looking pretty it's worthwhile buying it but it is um, a collaboration between Michelle and Brooklyn Tweed so if you're a fan of either Michelle or Brooklyn Tweed yarn or both it's a no-brainer go and buy it it's incredible I cannot wait to get one of these projects on the needles although I need to get a lot of things off the needles first my next favorite is a little bit different but it has made a huge impact on both mine, Emrys's, and Rolly's lives since it has been with us, and that is our new sofa. We have had the same sofa since moving into number 23. It was um, something that we bought with the money from our wedding, a beautiful red sofa from made.com, but unfortunately it just wasn't as comfy and cozy as we were hoping, and very soon after getting Rolly, he managed to eat a hole in the bottom of it. So we knew that an upgrade was needed, and just in the last couple of weeks we got our new sofa which is from Next. It's from their home selection and if you are interested it is the Sonoma model and the fabric that we have which matches Rolly perfectly is the Tweedy Blend fabric in the light dove colorway and I cannot tell you how much this sofa has changed our lives. This room that I'm in now, our living room, we pretty much didn't use when we had the old sofa because it just ha didn't have that sense of comfort. This lovely new warm sofa is so inviting that all we want to do is sit on it and spend time together. Rolly loves it, I love it, Emrys loves it. We pretty much haven't been out of this room since the sofa arrived. Just being in here makes me happy. Sofas for everybody, particularly big squishy L-shaped sofas because sitting in that little corner seat, mmm, just perfection. <laughs> The next favourite that I'm going to share with you is actually a skincare product. And I'm not really into a huge amount of skincare, I'm not going to lie. And as I near the end of my 20s, it is something that I think more about. I want to take care of my skin, I want to keep it looking youthful for as long as possible. And obviously, as I start to get more visible wrinkles, I just want to make sure that my skin is in good condition as possible. So I decided to head to my favourite um, kind of bath and bodywork store, which is Lush. And and I spoke to them in terms of moisturizers and they recommended that I try Celestial Cream. And you guys, I am utterly obsessed with this cream. It is a mixture of some really lovely ingredients. It includes vanilla, almond oil, almond milk, cocoa butter, and a little bit of orchid extract. And for someone who has combination skin but that is quite sensitive like me, this stuff is just incredible. I apply it in the morning and at night and I have really noticed a difference in the overall condition of my skin. And I'm just so much happier. I feel like my skin is healthier and it smells amazing. Going back to the fact that I have been spending all my time in this room recently because of the new sofa, something that I love to have around for kind of atmosphere are candles. I really, really love to burn candles in my house and we have just bought this really lovely candle holder for the living room to go along with the new sofa. You know, we treated ourselves and I wanted to get a nice candle um, to burn that wasn't autumn or winter scented. We have some really nice kind of pumpkin scented candles from autumn and I just want Wanted something a little fresher for springtime and I picked up this gorgeous thing from Anthropology. This is their boulangerie um, selection. Um, we actually have the pumpkin souffle version of this which is to die for but this is vanilla and fig which is just so fresh and spring-like and I love it. I love that it comes in this little white ceramic jar. It looks pretty, it smells amazing and seeing this sitting in the little candle holder that we have just makes me so happy. To round up the favourites for March, I just have one more thing to share with you, and that happens to be my nail varnish. 
Now, this nail varnish is nothing special. It was actually given to me as a free gift after our meal on Mother's Day. All of the mothers got some free nail varnish and I, being a fur baby mummy, also got some free nail varnish. It's super inexpensive. The brand is apparently Love Nails and it doesn't even have kind of a color name or anything, but it's this lovely kind of aqua bluey green. And I am really enjoying having this color on my nails. It feels really fresh and um, different. It also looks really nice with a black and white palette, which is what I have been gravitating towards um, recently in the last couple of weeks. And it's just fun. Plus, how nice is it to get given a free gift and you actually end up using it, enjoying it? Obviously, as always, Roly is the favorite dog of the month. No one's used up to you yet, have they, my champion? But that is everything from my monthly favorites for March. Yay, how exciting. I hope you enjoyed them. If you've been enjoying anything um, particularly or anything's been giving you extra special amounts of happiness over the last month, then comment down below. Let me know what your favorites of the month are. I will see you again really soon for another episode of Inside Number 23. And obviously at the end of April for another set of monthly favorites. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.